Hello family, in this tutorial our main aim is to take this event flyer right into After Effects and start animating it. So at the end of the tutorial, this will be our final outcome. So without much ado, let's start. So let's double click this tab here to import our file, to import our PSD file. So let's say click on import. We select on composition with retain layer sizes. Okay. So let's move this comp right into our timeline. So this is what this the fly we've taken from Photoshop. We've taken this fly from Photoshop right into After Effects. So cool. Right now, what you need to do is animate each of the layers in a step-by-step -step procedure. So we started the headline, and later we come out to the the television and the the icon, the photo, and the other elements. So let's start with the headline so let's double click here in the timeline so let's see let's isolate our layers let's start with the background by clicking here here in this tab so we have our background cool so let's click here again we also have our headline so instead we'll start with animating the headline so let's double click here in the headline Let me zoom in. Okay, so let's start with an, our animation. But we could see that all our layers here have been, all our text layers here, as you can see in our timeline, are in solid form. We can't animate it. So to make it easier on our part, let's let's start with uh, layer number seven. Then let's isolate it so that we have only this. And before we can do that, so let's convert this solid layer to a text. So we click on right click here, click on clay, create, and select convert to editable text. So let's move our anchor point up here because you know you need to animate it starting from the top. So let's click here on the pan behind you or click on Y, the shortcut key on your keyboard, and move this anchor point right up here. So with that selected, let me increase the size of our timeline. With that selected, let's click, let's draw our number layer number seven down to see what we have benefit. So let's click on the animate and select enable three per character 3D. So let's select animate again and select on position. Okay. Let's move it up a bit. Let's select on uh, position. Let's increase the Z value right to negative to a negative value of uh, negative 23. Let me click in here. Negative 2494. Okay. Now let's add some other property like the blur and the position and the opacity. So let's add that for opacity again. Now let's change their values. For blur, let's give it a value of 25. For opacity, let's move it down to zero. Let's throw down the range selector and click here. We want to animate the offset. So let's click here in this button with the clock. Let's click there. Let's move our points to negative uh, 2 by clicking here and inputting the value of 200 to move it to a 2 seconds value. Let's increase it a bit so we see what we're doing a bit here. So what 
this keyframe let's change the value to negative 100 negative 100 100 and let's move to two seconds and, and also click here on this diamond uh, this keyframe uh, mine is position on the right side but with yours maybe it could be at this side so let's look out for that so I'm clicking here on this keyframe to add a keyframe here I'm changing the value of the offset to offset to 100 let's select all the keyframes and press on F9 press F9 to easy ease it F9 or oh, let's right click it and add our easy ease fine so let's see what we have now at the moment okay let's select both layer 5 right down to layer 7 and press on U and press on U let's see what we have so let's move down here let's press 0 on our num keypad Uh, let me move let me create more room so that we see what we're doing okay so this is what we have let me let me see let's press zero on our keypad again to see what we have finally okay nice that's a nice one there. Okay, I think we can still do something to the dot. Let's add a position to the dot. Let's uh, add a position to the dot. We can further enhance the animation of the dot layer. Let me zoom in. Let me twirl the dot down. Let me twirl it down. Uh, hide, throw this one down again. Let's throw it down again. And let's press select uh, layer 5, press U again so that we can it can show us all the keyframes that we've given to it. Okay. But I want us to do some one thing again. To do that, let's let us move the The dots right here down here right here down here yeah let's move the dot here by make sure that the selection tool is activated let's move it down let's move it down 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 cool let's see let's move the timeline to see okay everything is working as it is now let's select the dot layer again press p on your keyboard for the position let's add a keyframe here let's move it 30 keyframes let's add 30 uh, keyframe to it by pressing ctrl shift 30 keyframes so we can add the uh, uh, let's add 30 over here ne? we add 30 over here let's add 30 here uh, so, that, but, so that we have a uh, so it it's automatically gives us this so we need to move uh we need to move it up make sure that the selection tool is activated by moving it up here it will automatically add a keyframe to the original position where it was so now let's highlight both keyframes and keyframe assistance let's add easy ease to it so now let's play it back again and see what we have
okay nice but we can still further enhance our position yeah i still believe that we can still en further enhance uh, it so let's see what we can do before we do that let's before we do that let's select position select position right click it let's separate dimensions and we only animated the the y part so let's click out press shift and alt key to hide that of the x position so that we can fully concentrate on the x and the y position so let's click here so that we can fully so we now have only the y position highlighted let's select it let's double click it and click on the graph editor let's double click again to select it let's press this fill fit selection to view okay so let's extend our let's extend our handles let's extend our handles 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 let's trade this up here yeah exactly so let me create more room so that we see what we're doing right at where it gets to this point you want an overshoot so that it will move it will move up here and come back to its original position so let's at this point and let's say at this point let's add another point over here so let's press and hold the control key on your part you have this point pen to over here to add a point over here yeah so now let's select that point and press here on this convert selected keyframe to auto busy so now let's bring it down here yeah so we see that there's an overshoot over here then let's press and sh holding shift key down let's straighten the handles a bit yeah okay so now let's go back to our timeline so let's preview all what we have now let me create more room over here so we see finally see what we have let me fit it over here let's play it everything all over again press zero on your keyframe to preview it or the space bar on your keyboard yeah very nice let me zoom in so we see what we, we have let me zoom in yeah very nice so now let's move on to the other limit other, other layers let's select from 5 to layer 7 press U to see all our keyframes that we've added so far let's extend it a bit so that we see what we're doing okay so moving into the last keyframe yeah so let's move our pointer to the last keyframe let's move it to the last keyframe so we see what all we have currently so let's move on to the fourth layer layer four let me twirl it down so that we have more room more space so now let's also convert layer four to a text layer since originally in the photoshop file in our original photoshop file it's it's a text as you can see over here it's a text over here so now let's move on so let's right click create convert to editable text so let's show it by clicking here button let's zoom in let's zoom in okay so this is what we have let's add a stroke effect to this one let's add a stroke effect to this one uh, let me change mine to full resolution so we see what we're doing let me zoom in let me zoom in further so with the pen to let's create a, a stroke effect 
so that we have it showing as a stroke okay so let's see let's start make sure you have it selected make sure you have layer 4 selected press on G or your pen to to activate the pen tool so let's start let's start with uh, let's click 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 okay let's click 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 let me zoom in further let's click 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 make sure that uh, uh, you don't have the lines uh, intersecting yeah so uh, let's avoid that uh -huh. you don't want any of the lines to meet yeah okay so now that we have the layer 4 selected let's zoom out to see what we have finally so now let's click on uh, select make sure layer 4 is selected on the effect tab search for stroke search for stroke using the generate stroke that's what you're using so you can select it and move it right onto layer 4 okay so let's twirl it down let's twirl it down okay before we do that just let's go on our effects tab it's you see the stroke that we created created a max on it so it's showing it's highlighting here that there's a max over here right so make sure that max is over here then we go here we turn it down say revolve original image revolve original image then starting with the end you want to animate the end part so let's click it let's click here and move it down to zero Move it down to zero. Yeah. Let's move ten or twenty keyframes. Let's add twenty keyframes over here. So that's twenty five. Ne? Already it has a five over there. So let's move twenty keyframes. Let's select the dot. Let's let's select the, the we are working on layer four. So let's select that one and now uh, let's increase it back to zero. So we see what we have. You see, as we move it, you see that it's kind of creating a kind of a stroke effect. Nice. That's what you want. So let's further increase the brush size a bit. And let's increase the brush size, yeah. So that we have what we originally had in our Photoshop file. Uh, I think we are okay to go now now let's see what we've created so far right from so let's move it down to the home let's make sure nothing is selected now let's click on the zero on our key or our num keypad or the space bar to see what we have finally nice one there nice one there so let's move on with the other layers let me create more space here more room here for us let me create more space here i love to clean my, to empty my index uh, cache so that it makes the system run faster since i'm using a very low spec machine uh, okay so now let's see let me let's also work with half resolution now so now we let it there you need to convert it to a text you need to convert layer 3 to a text so let's create and convert it to a text let's show them let's show it again here let's zoom in 
and like that. So we want both 20 to be on this layer, 22 to be on this layer. So let's select layer 3 and press Ctrl D. So first of all, let's hide layer 3 and work on layer 4. Let's double click it and delete the 22 part of it. Okay. Let's do that for layer 3. Let's position it back to its original place. Okay, let's animate. Let's start animating them. But before that, let's select from layer 5 down to layer 7 to see all our key frames, key frames for them. Okay. Let's move our point to this to 6 seconds. Let me zoom out so we can see what we're doing. Let's uh, let's animate. Uh, okay, let's change the position of the anchor point by using the pan behind two. Okay, now that layer four is selected. Let's twirl it down. Let's animate the position. Okay. Let's move it down. Now let's move it up. Let's move it up. Uh, Okay, along this point. Let's see, uh, negative 190. Let's add the opacity to it. Let's move it down to zero. Let's go to the range selector. This time around, we'll be using the end to animate. Let's move uh, 20 frames. Let's move it down to zero. Okay. Let's also add uh, a selector called wiggle to it. Let's twirl it down. Okay, now let's let's see how it reacts. So this is what we have. Okay, let's select both. Right click it. Let's select both keyframes. Right click it. Go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Since we it's a matter of duplication, we just have to just copy all the keyframes we had on layer we have for layer four let's select all of the keyframes right up to right up to this point let me make more room so that we see what you're doing so we select it right from here to where it ends. So control C to copy. We move our point to the last keyframe, which is this. We select layer three, then you control paste to control V to paste it. So let's make more room so we can see our comp layer. Let's zoom out. Okay, now let's play that portion and let's see. Let's play that portion, only that portion. Let's see what we have. By pressing B here, move the tile out, right out of this keyframe. Press B here. And straight this to the point. And let's play it and see what we have. Let me 
zoom in so we see what we have finally. Let me zoom in. Is in the okay, let's see. So this is what we have. Okay, now let's let's overlap the keyframes a bit. See what we have. Let's over overlap the keyframes for both layer four and three. Let's overlap the keyframes for both layer four and three. Let's press U. It's already overlapped. Yeah, I think it's fine. So. So we are done. Okay, we can also press. Uh, we need to see everything on this time frame for the headline. You can press the asterisk or the the button uh, above the tab key in your keyboard. It's hyphen, or the right the the button below your escape keyboard. I'm pressing on that. So now, let's press. both layer 4 and 3 to see the keyframes okay so let's press the same key to escape let's go back to so now let's press on uh, let's see the one for the tour too uh, so we need to animate we are left with layer 2 and 1 so let's select both right click go to create and select convert to edit editable text to convert them to text so we can animate them now let's make them visible let's make them visible i will zoom into that portion okay i will start by animating the the, the down more in the name of the the artist so now let's use the pan behind to to position our to reposition our anchor point right up here so we, because we want the text to flow right beneath this test so let's use that let's select layer 3 right to layer 8 to and press you to remove all the keyframes you have for them okay let's move to the last keyframe which is this point now let's select layer 2 which is uh, no layer 1 since that's what we want to animate now or you can move it down here a bit so you can change the position okay so now it's layer 2 let's click here twirl it down select position let's add uh, the property opacity of the property of opacity to it uh, let's let's move it up sorry Let's move it up. We want it up right at this point. Let's okay. Now let's move the opacity to zero down to zero. Let's throw down the range selector. Let's click use the end to um, animate. Let's move uh, 20 frames forward. One, two. Let's move 20 frames forward. Let's animate the end key. Let's press on the end to to add the keyframe here. Let's move 20 frames. And uh, now let's bring it down to zero bring it down to zero okay so we move here let's move this so that we can only see the animation at this point so let's press our zero on the keyboard to see the animation okay uh, why not 
okay i think we can still uh refine our animation i don't like how it appears so let's stop it let's remove all the keyframes let's remove all the keyframes by selecting it and pressing again the clock button for the end right click at the same point and press reset let's undo what you've done okay so let's just remove the keyframes now and reset it back to its position and also remove the bring all your let's bring it back let's also reset the position here let's also reset the position here nice so let's see how because I'm not happy with it. Let's let's see if we can uh, animate it using the the offset again. Let's use the okay. Let's use the start keyframe. The start to keyframe it. So let's press here. Let's move twenty frames forward. Let's using the x position so let's move it up 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 to this point I think you've gone too far okay now let's let's uh, go back to our start keyframe and increase it to 100 100 okay then uh we can also okay we need to zero out the opacity so now let's let's play it back and see yeah i think i'm happy with this and ammunition than the previous one let's zoom in and see Let me play it back and see how it uh, it appears. It's a bit faster, so let's uh, select the both keyframes and apply our easy ease. Let's go to the graphic editor. Let's double click on the start to select all the keyframes. Click here to fit selection to view. Let's select the first point it's so that it moves faster we want to make it move faster and then finally slows down and finally slows let me select both keyframes let's pull it down finally slows down so let's see let's play it back and see let's play back and see how it appears okay i'm happy with this so so now let's play we are we are left with the tour you are not left with the tour to animate so So let's go back to time 8 seconds and 10 frames. Let's zoom in. So we want we also want to use the stroke effect, the stroke generator to for the animation for tour. This as we did for them for the month for this month or for this text, if I may say. So now let's zoom in. Select the let's draw this down. Let's select layer one and press G for the pen to make sure that layer one is selected. So now we can start drawing over the, the text tour. So I'm starting with this. I want to zoom in.
Okay, we're done. Let's select. Make sure layer one is selected. Having the stroke, let's go to our stroke tab. Let's make sure we go to the generate stroke or search for stroke here in the effects panel. Let's drop this right onto layer one here. Yeah. So when we turn it down, we, what the pen tool that we've created will have a max effect over here. So it's it definitely it's automatically selected here. So what you need to do is just select this pen and select Revo original image. And now we need to animate using the end. So let's move it down to we want to start animating at eight seconds, 10 frames. So let's make sure it's selected. Then we zero out the end, make sure it's zeroed out. We click the stopwatch so that it can add a keyframe. Let's move 20 frames forward and two. Now let's bring it back to 100. And now let's increase the brush size. Let's increase the brush size. Let's bump it up a bit. Yeah, it's okay. So now let's. So we're done. So finally, we are done with the animating the headline. So in our let's let's play back everything. Let's play back everything. Let's select everything. Let's select all the layers. Press on U to unhide all the. Let's go back. And now let's play. Let's play back. Let's play back our animation. Let's play back all our animation. Okay, I think we we can correct something over here, especially we want the this text to appear first, followed second, followed by this one. Let me pause it. Okay, so now let's go back here. So let's select layer three and twenty. Layer three and uh, layer four, sorry. Let's move it further here. Let's select on layer. Let's press Alt and uh, square bracket, right square bracket to cut the layer for at from this point. Okay, for our dots, we need to, for this much, do we need to uh, easy easy? So let's right click, right, right click it and select keyframe assistant easy is. Let's do that for this one. Let's select it. Keyframe assistant, easy is. So we have our this one this to feature in first, followed by this, followed by layer seven. Layer eight comes in, followed by layer seven. Also followed by the dots. Followed by the dots, 
then uh, let's move it a bit let's move let's move the amount the layer 5 here outside a bit here then we select layer 3 and 4 and also move it move it so that it appears so it said that layer 5 appears before that then also definitely we want the text for the layer 2 and 1 to appear later on so let's move it forward so now let's escape it and play everything at a go let's see what we have finally yeah that's what we want to have at the end i think the the years uh, appears fast so let's see if we can uh, do something to it but i think we are good to go with this effect but let's see if we can adjust the timing for the years Let's see if we can adjust the timing for the years. Select them both. Let's select them both. Let's select them both. We can also use. Let's select them both by pressing and holding on a shift while to select them. Pressing and holding on shift to us to select them. Let's move it up here a bit. So as we do that, we need to also adjust both layer one and two. So let's adjust them here. So now let's move to the tab 2 with the name 02 and play everything to see what our final outcome. So this is what we have done so far. Okay. Cool. So we are done for the first part which is the headline. So in our next tutorial, we will be completing the other, other, other aspect of our, uh, of our tutorial that's with respect to uh, the anim anim animating the television and the icon photo. So thanks for spending time with us, and we hope that you've learned something valuable out of this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.